Okay, so after discussing the various stages of a compiler, let us now try to see what are the tools that are available in the market which will be helpful to us while designing a compiler. Now to understand about the behavior of those tools, we should first know what should be the algorithm and what should be the structure of a given program that can implement a particular stage in compiler design. Okay, so let us start with the first stage. So I have a source file. that is fed to the first stage of a compiler that is lexical analyzer and what should be the, what is the output of the lexical analyzer is what we call as list of tokens and these tokens are predefined in from uh, for a given language okay now, now let us now try to see how this lexical analyzer, how I can build a lexical analyzer on my own. Okay, for that I need to convert this problem. Okay, so so this is a source file which is nothing but a string of characters. And this list of tokens is what? It is a pattern of characters. Okay, for example, int is a pattern, char is another pattern, okay, float is another pattern, etc. So, given a string of characters, the job of this lexical analyzer is to find these patterns. And if it finds anything other than these patterns, it should report an error as invalid token. Okay, so I can always map this problem to a finite automata problem because in finite automata you, mu you must be remembering that uh, we have solved many examples based on such uh, this kind of examples like find a substring in a given string of characters from alphabet set okay so so the lexical analyzer is nothing but a finite automata so if you want to write a lexical analyzer on your own you will have to create a finite automata on a given C or C++. Okay. Then comes what we call as a syntax checker. Okay. So what is a syntax checker or a parser? So parser will take the list of tokens and will create what we call as a parse tree. Understand? Now this syntax checker, you must be remembering in a context free grammar in push down automata. Okay. Uh, so, so we can implement uh, given a context free grammar, we can always implement a push down automata. And hence the program that should look like a syntax checker will imp should be implemented with a data structure called push down automata okay so you will have a stack of states and as soon as you get a token you know that in which state I should be okay I will let you know when we will discuss this in uh, I think after lexical analyzer subject topic okay now from parse tree so you have a parse tree Now the third stage is what? It is called semantic checker. Now after the semantic checks, what we, we create a structure what we call as a decorated parse tree. Why it is a decorated parse tree? Because I have populated many informations in my parse tree. I have decorated my parse tree. Okay. So, Oh, for example, semantic checks involves undefined symbol, means a symbol has been used but not defined. For that, what we, uh, so, so, uh, so, for, so to do this check, I need to populate the parse tree with what we call as a symbol table. Okay, so, so, it, so a syntax checker 
will implement a symbol table so so through a symbol table implementation i can do semantic checks okay there are other things also we will discuss this in, in later but the basic implementation is a symbol table so can you tell me how the symbol table should look like so symbol table is nothing but a map so so it is a map of uh, do you people know c++ so a map is nothing but a pair it is a pair of key and value okay so given given a suppose int a okay so so it is, it is nothing but a map so the variable a okay and its type is what int okay integer declaration so i create a pair like this so a so whenever i will search a i will i can say that okay a is of type int okay so this is a construct for map okay if if you know c++ then it, it would have been better uh, but if you don't know c++ try to learn it fast because we are going to implement all these compiler design structures through c++ only okay because uh, it is more structured and uh, and uh, and it will be and, and object oriented also okay so it will be helpful to you in future so so this is the decorated parse tree and the semantic checker is implemented through various data structures and one of those data structure is what we call as symbol table okay so so let us stop